What are the different types of moving estimates? Moving estimates are an essential aspect of any relocation process. They provide customers with an idea of the cost of their move and help them plan their budget accordingly. There are different types of moving estimates, each with its own benefits and drawbacks. The three primary types of moving estimates are non-binding, binding, and binding not to exceed. It is important for customers to understand the different types of moving estimates and choose the one that best suits their needs. By doing so, they can avoid unexpected costs and ensure a smooth and stress-free relocation experience. Types of moving estimates. There are three major moving estimates available in the moving industry. Most of the time moving cost fully depends on the weight of belongings that need to be transit. Make sure to cross-check all the clauses in the moving contract, don't sign incomplete or blank papers. The estimates written on the contract will be finalized once signed so just be careful and understand everything contained in the contract. After loading and shipment of belongings, your movers are not allowed to change pricing on the contract. All changes in the binding contract will require your consent. Non-binding estimate This type of estimate provides customers with an approximate cost of the move based on the mover's assessment of the weight of the shipment. However, the final cost may vary depending on the actual weight of the items being moved. If the final cost is higher than the estimated cost, the customer will have to pay additional charges according to the weight of the belongings. A non-binding moving estimate is the most common type of relocation estimate. If you want to move long distance or interstate, while moving interstate the moving estimates will be based on the weight of goods along with the type of service that you want to get from removalists. Binding estimate. A binding estimate provides customers with a fixed cost for the move which is determined by the mover's assessment of the weight of the shipment. This means that the final cost cannot exceed the agreed-upon amount, even if the actual weight of the items is higher than estimated. The customer will pay the fixed amount that has been decided while making a contract. Binding not to exceed estimate. Binding not to exceed moving estimate is most popular among Australians due to its benefits. This type of estimate is a hybrid of the two previous estimates. In this type of estimate, if the estimated weight of the belongings is higher still customers will need to pay a fixed amount that has been decided. Important moving quote terms. When you receive a moving quote from a moving company, it is important to understand the various terms used in the quote. Number 1. Bill of Lading. The bill of lading is one of the most important documents of the moving process. Make sure to read it very carefully before signing the document. Check all listed details for example pick and delivery addresses are correct. Number 2. CP. In your bid or mover's estimated contract, you can notice CP. If you have your movers handle some of your packings. Carrier filled is what this signifies. It shows the number of cartons or boxes that your movers packed for you. Number 3. COD. The COD stands for cash on delivery in that case you will need to pay for your move when your belongings will arrive at your new home. Discuss with the removalists about the payment method in advance such as credit card, check, or cash. Number 4 Flight Charge The term flight charge doesn't refer to the cost to deliver your stuff via plane. This term means how many stairs your movers have to navigate while loading and unloading equipment. Number 5 Inventory An inventory is the moving checklist of belongings that you want to move from one place to another place, as well as showing the number of items and describing the condition of each item. By making an inventory you would be able to identify your items if anything is missing or damaged during the transit. If any unfortunate thing happens you will. Number 6 PBO. The best way to save money on the move is to pack your belongings on your own. If you choose to pack your belongings yourself make sure to check that contract should not reflect any packing services or cost in the bill. Number 7. PAD. The acronym PAD stands for Preferred Arrival Date Provided by the Homeowner. While filling out the form with this term make sure to enter the date that you want your belongings to arrive at the given address. Number 8. Standard Coverage. A free minimum amount of insurance for your belongings must be included by movers by law in all moving rates. It's not much, you will be compensated for damaged products based on their weight. Factors that impact your moving quotation. Distance. If the moving distance from your old home to your new home is more than 80 kilometers, it will be considered an interstate or long distance move. On the other hand, if you move within the same city or less than 80 kilometers away the move will be considered a local move. Size and weight of your belongings. The number of items you need to move and their weight can also impact the cost of your move. The more items you have, the larger the truck you'll need, and the more it will cost to transport your belongings. Insurance. The amount of insurance coverage you require for your belongings can also impact your moving. The higher the value of your belongings, the more insurance coverage you'll need, which will increase the cost of your move.
Additional information, tips to get the best removalists. While moving home the most important thing that every homeowner should consider is to find removalists very carefully. Do research for movers. If you want to get a move without any hassle make sure to do your own research for the removalists. You can ask your friends and neighbors if they know a reliable removal company that can fulfill your moving requirements. Review and ratings. Don't be fully dependent on the references, make sure to check reviews and ratings of the company on the internet. Check the services offered. Ensure the removalists you are considering offer the services you need, such as packing, unpacking, and storage. Along with that, ensure removalists about the insurance for your belongings. Check the experience. Consider the experience of the removalists you are considering. Companies with years of experience are often more reliable and efficient as compared to less experienced movers. Read the contract carefully. Carefully review the contract before signing to ensure you understand the services being provided and the costs involved. Don't sign any blank paper, and also avoid paying any advance amount to the removalists. Ask removalists to make a physical visit to your home. Before finalizing any moving quotes, ask movers to visit your home and check out your property and the volume of belongings. When it comes to moving estimates, there are different types that you there are different types that you should be aware of. It's important to understand each type of estimate and how they work to make an informed decision about which one to choose. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.